Nearly five years ago, Mr. Bradley's class wanted to make the world a better place by solving the problem of improper battery disposal in their community. They were working on a project-based curriculum called Project Citizen, which teaches kids how to monitor and influence public policies. Mr. Bentley's students contacted Cedar Kehoe, the City of Elk Grove's Integrated Waste Manager, about placing battery disposal centers at all schools in the Elk Grove School District. They met with her to discuss this. She loved their idea, but she was unable to carry out their plans because she lacked the funds to do so. Every single one of the cities in the state of California and nationally have the exact same problem. So my request to get funding, I submit that to the state along with every other city and county submitting requests for funding from the state. There isn't nearly enough money to begin to cover the disposal costs. Two years ago, Mr. Bentley students revisited this topic while working on Project Citizen again and partnering for the first time with the World We Want Foundation. Students met with Cedar once more to propose a new policy, placing a single battery collection station at our school. This time, Cedar turned down their plan based on safety concerns. You can get a spontaneous fire. So although having a small container of batteries here is probably not a risk, there is always a risk when you're dealing with something that's a hazardous material to some extent. If you happen to bring in all lithiums, all fully charged, and they were all in a big pile, I couldn't tell you that's not a risk. I can't have a risk at this school system. That is not something that we really can do. Um, just because, you never know. Instead, she proposed Mr. Billy students produce a film explaining how citizens of Elk Grove could properly package and safely transport all their household hazardous waste to the city's new special waste collection center that was in the process of being built. Angela Frost, I would like to introduce to you. She has been assigned your new project. So our city manager has selected her to help you complete your video assignment. And I will tell you, at this point, our city council, our city manager, and our assistant city manager have all heard you're producing this video. So they expect a product. So no backing out now, guys. Last year, Mr. Bentley's sixth grade class started to script and film that video, but we're only able to finish before they promoted to seventh grade. This year, we are here to finish the job the students before us have begun. When Mr. Bentley introduced us to this project, he asked which students would be willing to serve as producers for the City of Elko Special Waste Collection Center film. Jared Allen, Saul Epstein, Ben Weir, and Haley Rhinus volunteered to take on this challenge. First, we began searching the web, looking for videos to watch, produced by other cities for their household hazardous waste centers. We wanted to see what professional filmmakers had already done so that we could get ideas of what we might do. We watched around 20 films, some very informative and others very humorous. We at first wanted our video to be a mix of humor and seriousness, but ultimately, since we were commissioned by our city to make a film for our city, we needed to listen to our city's voice and create the film they wanted. With that, we started writing our first draft, which came in at nearly a thousand words. Angela Frost, the City of Elk Grove's Interim Public Information Officer, visited our classroom to meet with us and go over the script. When she left, our vision for the script was very much improved. We began to rewrite. Within a few days, we had a second draft, which we emailed to Cedar Kehoe, the City of Elk Grove's Integrated Waste Manager. Cedar emailed us back, suggesting revisions of her own. About three or four drafts later, our script was approved by Cedar and her colleagues. With the script finalized, our second semester of school ended. Prior to our month-long vacation, teams of students volunteered to begin the production. The first group to begin work during vacation was the voiceover team. Drew Rodriguez, Cody Brown, Kamara Smith, Ethan lockhart Ralston, and Sophie Ross came in to record the script. It took almost three hours to record what would become a five-minute voiceover. Filming took place next. Nine students from Mr. Bentley's class showed up at his garage to film. Joining us were Cedar Kehoe, as well as two of her staff, Christian Ponsel and Jordan Zachariah. To make sure no kids were harmed in the making of this film, Cedar and her staff arrived the day before filming to deliver and set up all of the household hazardous waste. There were some items Cedar did not want us to handle, like corroded batteries, flammable liquids, or chlorine tablets. We worked for 18 hours over the course of two days. On the first day, we filmed product shots of household hazardous waste items. The second day, we filmed how to package and transfer the waste. After all of our filming was completed, we headed back to school and started the editing process. 
We went straight to work using Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5 to edit our video and Audacity to edit our audio. Throughout the school year, we have been learning how to edit with Final Cut Pro and Audacity, but we're still learning how to use Motion as we go along. Cedar informed us there was a slight problem with finalizing the film by our original deadline of June 27th, the end of our school year. Construction of the facility wouldn't be completed until late summer or early fall. That meant we wouldn't have any footage of the completed facility in our film before the school year was through. To get around this, we used artist sketches and blueprints of the facility so we could complete the video. Cedar asked if we would be willing to come back in the summer to film one final sequence to complete this film. It would show the process of what happens when a resident pulls up to the completed facility to dispose of their household hazardous waste. We agreed to do this because we wanted to see this project through. Cedar told us how proud and impressed she was by our dedication and work ethic. She told us our city had never hired kids to make a professional film before. She also said she wasn't aware of any other cities in the country that have done something like this. That means we are making history. And we're getting noticed for what we're doing. On May 8th, we were recognized by the City Council for outstanding work and achievements. We were told our video would be played in the City Council Hall lobby, on the City of Elk Grove's website, before and after City Council meetings, and on our community cable channel. Cedar also told us our film would be shared with other waste management agencies and used that as an example of best how to inform residents on how they can package and transport their household hazardous waste. This has been a challenging task and the biggest and most fun school project we have ever worked on. Why? We are doing something big, something real, and something important and beyond school, and not just for our parents or teachers or to get an A. We believe that by teaching people how to dispose of household hazardous waste the right way, we will improve our environment and help to make the world we live in a better place. Yeah. 